Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining. Um, today's fly is going to be a small terrestrial. It's early June now and uh, the fish are going off luas and going more on the naturals. Um, obviously things like buzzers, suspender buzzers, beetles, dry flies is all taking fish. And this little fly, it's easy to tie and it's been catching a lot of fish lately and will continue to catch right up to the back end of October. So we'll, we'll get on tying it. It's a small brown beetle. Um, the hook I've got in the vise is a um, size 18 and it's a, a wide gape carp hook. Um, the thread I'm going to be using is a dark brown and it's a 6 row in uni. So we'll get some onto the get a base down. So I'm gonna go just past the bend. Get that off. Now this I'm gonna put a little bit of super glue on the thread to hold it. Now the body part of the beetle is brown and this is a brown high density cylinder foam and it's um, it's 2.8 so what we'll do is we'll put a little a little slope a little um, cut off bit on there and we're going to tie this in towards the back so we'll start there and we're going to cinch it down We'll go around and then cinch that foam down slightly around the bend and again just a tiny little bit of super glue to hold the to hold the threads down um, the dubbing I'm going to use is dark brown and it's Antron. Now this is going to be for the body. Um, it's going to make nice underbody, and when you brush it out a bit, it looks like uh, it looks like little legs underneath, which obviously is attractive to the fish. So we'll we'll dub that. Onto a, onto a brown thread round just take the thread through it a little bit back to the front and then we'll bend this bit over and Take that through, round to the front, now we're ahead, we'll, we'll put a little bit of super glue on to, on that thread, just to hold it in position. Bit of super glue. And then we'll cut the head and we'll cut this at an angle like that and that gives you a nice head on the fly. Now underneath um, we can also put a drop of super glue just on the thread from underneath. Underneath the body there. So we'll uh, put a little dab on that. Gives it a bit more security at the front end of the fly. And then we'll use for to get the legs out, we'll use a, a lollipop stick with a bit of velcro on and just basically 
brush them legs out, just get some get some legs coming out. It. You can take away the excess and then there we have it. It's amazing how simple that fly is and how many fish it catches. Cast it to rising fish, uh, they'll take it no problem. I go down, this is an 18, but I go down to 20s as well. Same tie-in, obviously just a slightly smaller for, if they get pickier, which they can do throughout the summer months. But go down, 18s and 20s are normally very productive. Um, like I say, they'll take it to cast into riding fish. You can also figure of eight them as well, and they'll take them that way. Um, floating line, uh, light leader tippet, and... Uh, You'll catch fish all the way through the summer, right till the late autumn on these. It, my previous video was using the brown beetle um, catching fish. So if you want to check that one out and check the rest of my fly tying and videos out, uh, please subscribe. Thanks very much. Hope this helps. Cheers now.